The Braves were one win away from sweeping the defending National League champs entering today's matinee. They came from behind in back to back games to beat the Diamondbacks. Spencer Strider was placed on the 15 day injured list with a right elbow UCL sprain. So right handed pitcher Alan Winans was recalled to Atlanta. Game three from Tourist Park. Second inning here. Matt Olson do it to it. He blasts one to right field for his third homer of the season. 408 feet to the chop house. Bravo's up 1-0. Bottom four tied at two. Michael Harris a second follows in Olsen's footsteps. Solo shot to right center. Atlanta News First meteorologist Courtney Giacobazzi caught that ball. She posted about it on Instagram. Braves take the 3-2 lead. Bottom eight, Austin Riley takes care of business. Two run home run for the 5-2 advantage. The Braves enjoy a memorable home opener with a three-game sweep of the D-backs. They'll host the Mets starting tomorrow on the 50th anniversary of Hank Aaron's 715th home run. Well, guys, Georgia State football continues spring practices from Center Park Stadium. New head coach Del McGee will showcase his team on April 12th at the Panthers spring game. The tone at practice is different under McGee. You can tell there's a new way of doing things with an entirely new coaching staff. Players get a clean slate, and that's a good thing for many of them. For the guys who've been around for a few years, they get a chance to prove themselves all over again and compete for playing time. Everybody's got a clean slate. They tell us all the time, hey, go, go out there, sweep the shred. Every day is an interview. They said this whole spring process was an interview for everybody. So that's really the main thing about it, just kind of going out there, doing your best, you know, whether you succeed or fail. It's a new offense, a new coaches, so obviously you're going to mess up something. So that's just our thing. Go sweep the shed, and if you mess up, go 100%. So that's how we look at it. We just want to set the standard on how we're going to practice, uh, and that way we can show our clips and our teaching and kind of get away from a lot of the Georgia clips uh, that we've been using. But those Georgia clips have been great examples, and our kids are, are really taking those as, as learning tools. And it works at Georgia, right? Guys, South Carolina beat Iowa in the Women's National Championship game today. Head coach Dawn Staley led her team to a perfect 38-0 season. USC has gone 109-3 and the last three seasons. Congratulations to them, Tori. Well, guys, the Braves didn't disappoint in their home opener. They came from behind to walk it off in 10 innings against the defending National League champion Diamondbacks. If you left the game early, you probably regret it. The win might have come with a loss, though. Braves ace Spencer Strider didn't have a good night. He allowed five runs and seven hits over four innings. He struck out four and walked three. He complained about his elbow, so he got an MRI today, and it wasn't good news. There's damage to his UCL in his right elbow. Strider will have to get it evaluated by a doctor in Texas. We don't know how bad it is, but manager Brian Snicker said today it wasn't good. Game two against the D-backs from Truist Park tonight. Max Fried struggled in this one. He gave up seven earned runs, six in the first inning. He got through just over four innings of work. Bottom fifth here, Braves down eight to two. Azuna gets them back in it. Three run bomb to left center. Eight to five suddenly doesn't sound so bad, right? Bottom of the eighth, Braves down a single run. Ronald Acuna Jr. fixes that. He goes to the right. Patel Marte can't get to it. Jared Kelnick scores from second. We are all tied up at eight. Here we go, guys. Austin Riley goes oppo from where Acuna went. RBI single to the left, bringing in the reigning MVP to take the 9-8 lead for a second day in a row. The Bravos come from behind to beat Arizona.